Hey guys, it's Grim here, and finally, I get back to playing some Guild Wars 2. Thank fuck for that. Okay, so, oh, actually before I begin, I want to answer a question. Uh, somebody asked me what the music is at the intro, and I believe it's a piece called Mechnolith which is found on uh, Kevin McLeod's site, which is in description. It does loads of like, royalty-free music and that sort of thing, and, and that's what it is. So go check out his website. It's amazing if you're looking for a piece of music. Really good site. Um, okay, question answered. Yes, I'm finally back being able to play Guild Wars 2, which is a fucking godsend. Um... Uh, basically, I busted my hand up. If you've seen previous videos, you'll know this. If not, there you go. That's the reason why I'm playing Guild Wars 2. I busted my hand up, couldn't use a keyboard. Blah. So, I decided to get back into it. The best thing I could do would be to start a new character and play through from the beginning and kind of just get a feel for it all again. So, I decided to go for a thief, which is something I've wanted to do for ages. But, I, I wanted to. Char is my character, without a shadow of a doubt, and I wanted to roll a Char Thief, but a big, huge Char, which I think Chars have got to be, carrying two little pistols and two little daggers, looks fucking stupid. So, I had to roll a human, um, although I will admit that uh, Yasura with two little daggers looks amazing, and I did have one in beta called Ezio, and he was fucking the nuts. But anyway, Ezio aside, yep, yeah, just... It might be me, I'm not, I mean, I'm only, as I say, just about using keyboard, so it might just be my cack-handedness, um, but is the melee range auto-attack thing really fucking small? It seems you've got to be, like, literally on top of the guy, um, for that auto-melee thing to kick in. Uh, don't know if that's just me, I've got the option for melee assist, I think it's called, switched on, so, but I don't know, it might just be me being a twat, which would not be unusual, guys, I, I will be honest. So yeah, that was a bit weird, but as I say, that might just be me not being entirely in tune with it, but I did ask, I got a guy uh, called Can, who I play with quite a lot, no homo, um, and he said that no, he's found exactly the same thing, he's got, he's run, I think he's got uh, Necro, he's got Rangers, he's got everything, uh, Warriors, Guardian, I can't remember what his last one is, I think it's an engineer, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, so he's rolled everything, and he kind of said to me the same thing, he said, no, it's not you, I find it a little bit weird as well, but, so, uh, there you go, anyway, as I say, just getting into it, another thing I did notice, auction house, wow, those prices have dropped, um, big style, I remember, sort of, I mean, the ectoplasm was a big one I noticed. When I logged in yesterday, the day before, uh, the ectoplasm was down at around, I want to say, 12 to 14 silver. It was banding about for. And that's a, that's a big drop. Uh, I think when I left, it was at 22 to 24 for ectoplasm. So dropping ten silver off the price is is a big deal for each one of them. So, which is all good. It means less grinding for cash and stuff like that. But what inevitably will happen is that the really good high stuff like ectoplasm will never really, I think, drop much further than it is now. I guess I think the market's kind of stabilised. There's a lot of high level guys now, and I think it will stabilise. I think the thing that would change, I noticed that, um, like, Potent Blood was at 1 silver 28. You can go back and get the small totems and that. They're still at around 80 brass. So, and they're easy. You can farm that, sh that like crazy. But, um, anyway. That to one side. The other thing about Guild Wars, oh my god, that I want to stop and talk about stuff, but immediately other things come into my head now, just because I've played. The, obviously I've taken a break, so now I'm coming back and it all feels fresh and new and good. But talking to guys in the guild, 
And they're a lot like, do you know what I could do with something, not else, as in a different game, but a lot of them are very hardcore, uh, well v world. So they're happy, they, they log in on certain days and they're kicking ass and taking names. The others are PvE guys, and those guys are suffering at the moment. They're like, I've done my story. I've explored everything. I've got this, 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 and this. I've done the lot. I've done everything. And I don't really want to do World of the World. It's not my cup of tea. And they're like, well, what am I meant to do? I mean, realistically, and somebody put it in the comments, and I apologise for not saying your name, but how many times do you want to do the same event over and over again? Realistically, you can do it once. You know, that side of it, that depth is kind of missing um, and there needs to be something I mean six months people tend to be that's the attention span of most gamers you know and I know I do it every time and I apologize but like Call of Duty and um, a lot of other online games even though Call of Duty comes out every year realistically like Battlefield a lot of those realistically six months and you start to lose interest so you'd be looking for the next couple of months um, after Christmas there's got to be something coming out some sort of little expansion little twist just something new I'm not talking about a big race expansion of you know dwarves or something you know coming out and being oh wow big and shiny just maybe a new zone just something just look there you go there's a new zone even though you can probably eat it up in a month it just keeps you with interest it just brings something else out into a just a new little dynamic um just to keep people focused and primarily uh, as i say i'm i'm in the camp of pv at the moment because i haven't done that much world v world which is a surprise for me I don't know if the World of the World guys are getting stagnant, but the thing with that is, even though the backdrop, the setting is the same, in World of the World, because you're fighting real people, the dynamics of it change. You know, you've got, you might want to take a keep this way, or do this, but then the guys on the other side leading the troops like, no, 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 no. what we're going to do, we're going to split, we're going to flank, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. So it changes, even though the setting is the same, that changes and it keeps it fresh. But the PvE is kind of like, well, I've done it. I fucking climbed that hill, I've got that bit of paper that was at the top, I've done this, I've got that, I've killed him, done that, I've freed the world from tyranny and evil, and, uh, I'm good now, so, yeah, fingers crossed there'll be something coming out, but as I say, I'm just enjoying being back, and I've just taken up weapon smithing and jewellery making, which I haven't done before, so I'm enjoying all these different new things, so, it's all good. Right, because uh, this, Jesus Christ, I've been waffling for ages and I apologise. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is because this is Guild Wars 2 kind of footage and my chatting about Guild Wars 2 and me being back, the, I want to say winner in the loosest term, but the, the guy I'm going to be giving the uh, Modern Warfare 3 token, prestige token that I had, I'm going to do that in a separate video uh, just to say kind of well done and talk a bit about that. I don't want to put that in Guild Wars 2 video. Okay. If you are on Black Tide uh, this Saturday, we got big World v. World kicking off. Uh, you want to join us, you know, go for it. The main man, the man, the legend that will be probably organising it will be Serial. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, that's probably the character he'll be on. Uh, S-E-R, I-A-L. Hit him up and come join us in some World v. World. Should be good, good fun. Uh, and I'll have a video up. I doubt Saturday because it'll be a late Saturday night. So probably Sunday we'll put a video up about that. And that's it. Uh, I will leave this video to play out. Put a little bit of music over it. But it's just good to be back, guys. That's what I want to say. It's fucking fantastic being back playing Guild Wars 2 again. Um, yeah. Whew. And I will leave it at that. I'm going to fight a bat in a second. I'm going to leave it on bat combat. But have a good one, guys. And I'll talk to you later. And this made no sense. Laters. <laughs>